Hey, what's up, guys? On the last episode, we figured out how to dance, which I already knew. I already know how to bust a move, but, you know, this time, we're gonna bust some more skulls, probably. I believe this is the place. We're looking for the guy that we have to beat the ever-loving crap out of. We have to pull a, a Kazuma Kiryu, if you know what I'm saying. We gotta take a guy to an empty lot and just completely beat the crap out of him. Ho, 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 ho. Oh ho ho ho. Anyways, you ready to bust in? Oh, absolutely. Speaking of busting, I've actually been having a real good time ever since I stopped looking at porn, you know? Um, it's like, once you get past a period of five days, or maybe shorter, I don't know. I've been on, I've honestly been keeping myself busy enough that I don't even really think about it. Um, but I feel like I think about it even less than I normally would have, you know? And I'm assuming, of course... Wow! It's a exposure deal. That's, uh... That's pretty nice. That's gotta be, like... Maybe 10-inch blade? I don't know. Okay, there's... <laughs> there's nobody here. Where are you at? Watch, it's like a young guy. He straight up has a clinic, man. Do we even know what this man looks like? I have my doubts. Does he have a key chart on the wall? Is that actually a key chart? Gotta make sure you open your chakras, you know? Anyways, yeah. I've been having a good enough time. And I've also been having a good time actually playing Castlevania. A little bit. Um, I didn't figure it was gonna go as well as it has been. But then I looked up like an 11 minute speedrun of the original game, and I figure I will be able to make maybe two, three episodes out of the first one, and then it's probably just going to go downhill from there, because honestly, Simon's Quest is a bit whack. But that's fine. What I did find out is that I can save the game. I can't put it in full screen mode, but I can save the game. It does have save states. Which is epic, because I absolutely would not be able to freaking play that game at all. I would just die, you know? <laughs> Dang, <laughs> he's a bit big for a doctor. Your gut. God hands my ass. Huh? Uh, no. Oh, is that a blind girl? She's got a cane and everything, it's white and all that. I said, no. That's so odd. Sorry, is anybody in here? Oh good, she is blind. She hasn't seen me. Yes. She didn't hear me? I would have imagined she heard me. Since she's... blind. Anyways, whatever. I guess that depends on how long she's been blind. <laughs> Very nice. This is some... Don't breathe stuff. Oh boy. Yeah, come on! I would have bolted already. Calm down, would ya? Jeez. I came here because I'm hurt or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, I didn't make an appointment. I came in uh, through the door. Because, you know. Exactly. Is he a chiropractor? I hope so. But I don't know.
Oh, that's good. I'm a pro at scaring people, especially young women. That's just how it goes. <laughs> He's not in. Oh, dang. That's unfortunate. Sorry for giving you a real start there. It's okay, I was here to kill your boss, so it's fine. Let's call it even. Huh? Well, that was, uh... It, or, yeah. Huh? Yeah. It hurts right here where I am about to slice myself open with a knife. Gamma! Anyways. That guy's real menacing looking for a therapist. Massage therapist. Okay. Goodness, sir, you're so stiff. Anyways. I work around women. It's like, oh, that explains it. Anyways. <laughs> um, God. I'm a cabaret waiter. That's a secret, actually. I'm a real mysterious fella. Oh, not at all. It's just, uh, I'm not, uh, not doing it by choice, you see. I don't want to kill your boss, but I'm going to. Anyways, <laughs> when he gets back. Yeah. Love seeing the sights. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is episode number two I make jokes about blind people. I'm basically blind. Not, not actually. I should, uh, I should walk that back immediately. I'm like negative four in both eyes, <laughs> but that's not even as, like, nearsightedly blind as I've met before. Like God. Um. Ask about the girl. Oh yeah. If we ask about the boss, it might be sus. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, read books. Oh, nice. Very cool. That's admirable. I feel like there's better stuff on TV than the radio. But, uh, well, you can't see. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with listening to one-sided monologue? Don't, don't, don't be looking down on us podcast listeners. Such as myself. <laughs> Probably make a great hostess. For a radio show. It would be weird to have her as a hostess at a... Uh, the kind of place I work. Somebody they can talk about themselves with. Most important thing for a good hostess is to be a good listener. Your ears are probably better than the average person's on account of the loss of sight. So you've got a promising career if you get tired of massaging. <laughs> well... Oh, not at all. I have to kill your boss, and I just hate doing that. I'm starting to like it less and less. Especially since, you know... Anyways... If you, if you don't have anyone to pay your paychecks, then who's gonna... Massage my back. You really turned my life around. The only reason I made it this far is because I'm working here. Oh, well. Hmm. I'm gonna feel bad about taking this guy out inevitably, because that's definitely going to happen. <laughs> well. Should just keep asking questions. Well, I guess I'll ask about the boss then. What's he like, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can tell. He's actually different. He's not actually scary inside. <coughs> he yells? When? He's not the type to use force or anything, is he? Huh? <laughs> the clients make the funniest noises sometimes. Oh, boy. I meant more like, uh... <laughs> Never once been a client that's reported soreness or bruising. Wow! He'll just bend you in half. And, and tie you in a knot. And then untie you and be like, Wow, I've never felt better. Yeesh. <laughs> wow, very nice. Anyways, I would love to meet this guy. I would love for him to work on me, and I would love to work on him. You see, I'm an impromptu surgeon. I specialize in incisions and um, nothing else. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh, well. Yeah. Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna have to meet the guy. Not that I'm an ideological killer anyways. I'd probably just take him out because I have to. If I was gonna say, like, whether or not I've gotta kill a guy based on whether or not he's a scumbag, it'd be... Uh, maybe not hard to find anyone like that, but, you know... It seems like the scumbags in the Yakuza won't want to kill any more scumbags, things of that nature. Ooh, boy... We left the knife out. Wasn't it dropped in the main room? Couldn't I have sheathed that blade? Ah. Wow, she's real good at this. Perhaps. Oh, yeah. The limp, that's no good. Um, I don't sleep, period. Every time I close my eyes, I see the big egg man. Hey, yo, I didn't know it was this kind of massage parlor. Hey, yo, pal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boss? He's really here. <laughs> Oh, dang. Did you just dine and dash? Good thing I don't have a tattoo of a bat on my body. Whoa! Nice sleeves, pal. Mm. What do you mean? <laughs> yes, yes I am. Yes, that is correct. Anyways, let's just not worry about that. I work at a cabaret. <laughs> uh, the acupuncture needle is very nice. He immediately suspects me. He knows that the Yakuza is going after him. Uh. Uh. Well, I would never do acupuncture. I'm trypanophobic. So. Wow, that guy's a good shot. What are you <laughs> Oh boy. I use him to light the ends of the needles when I'm working. <laughs> are you gonna be smoking during the delivery? Oh, like a chimney. When I don't smoke, I get the shakes, and then my drop average really goes down. <laughs> Take my sweet time with it. Oh boy. Alright, let's fight the acupuncturist. I do not like the sound of this. I get the feeling breakdancing isn't going to be one of the best options here. Who knows though? 
Is he going to ask me why I'm here? I think he's just kind of assuming. Why don't you grab that knife of yours? Yeah, what, is somebody hunting you? Baha! He really let, just let me do that, honestly. So where'd you hear that name? Hardly matters, yeah. It doesn't matter. At all. <laughs> oh, I've sure been sniffing around, alright. Like a hound. I go, <laughs> you know? You get, uh. Yeah, I'd. Okay. My, my blade's bigger than yours. Any rookie hitman dumb enough to get comfy in his mark shop ain't shaking me. Well, I'm not a hitman, so I guess that's a good thing for me. Do I actually get the choice? I get the feeling I don't. I ain't no bitch. Ah. Wouldn't it be funny? He like sticks one in and actually gives me acupuncture. Oh, massive man. That's that's the name, huh? Oh boy, that not my one remaining eye. Okay, I'm waiting for the input, the button input event. Okay, never mind. Yeehaw! All right, here we go, slugger. Okay, this is a real. Oh jeez, San, Isekai Oji San, finally. Oh god. Okay, I did place the. I did push the right button at the right time. This is a good thing. This is a real god-killing strategy, honestly. God hand killing. I can just kind of beat people up with a bat, honestly. Alright, let's go back to Breaker just because. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, I really want to hit him with all the funny kicks. Very funny. We did it, guys. We beat up the big guy. Like, not. Uh, not near as difficult since I have a baseball bat that I keep somewhere. No, that ain't it. I'm. It doesn't matter who I am. I don't know who you are either. So why don't we just kind of sit down and. Huh? Oh, great. Well. Yes. You are. What the hell are you talking about? That's not at all. Ain't these your ladies? What's that? Yes, you did. Huh? Oh! You're Lee? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I feel like I'm out of the loop here somehow. Gah. They're not buying it. Well, hey, it's a good thing I didn't ice the wrong man. That would have been so terrible. Oh, wait. You're telling me you're not the guy I'm here to... <laughs> Everyone be very, very quiet. She's Makoto? Oh! That's no good. You wouldn't kill a girl, would you? Oh, dang. That guy's got a freaking gun. He's got a piece. And... He also has a silencer, so she, she can't even... She doesn't know what's going on, because silencers completely reduce the sound of a gun going off to zero. That's exactly how it works. 
Не. Don't worry, I can beat the crap out of fellas. How to fight against a man with a gun. Starting now. Anyways. Well, hold on, if y'all kill her, then I don't get my cut, or whatever. Am I really just gonna stand here? <laughs> Holy shit, folks. Come on. Well, they're slim. Slick. Well, you know, I work with women. He's my mark. I ain't letting you jerk steal her. Uh. Oh, great. All I have to do is smack it out your hand. Watch this. My one good eye is so... Oh, wow. Very nice. Haha. <laughs> Oh yeah, the team up of the century, fellas. Let's go. Goro Majima and the Massive Man. Yeah. Well, okay, that team up didn't last very long, unfortunately. Dang, man. Ah. Your hand still works all the way. Dang, acupuncture needles not causing permanent damage. I'm gonna kick that gun right out your hand, pal. You're gonna be floating down the river. Oh. Well, that's... That's not great. I sure hope you're out of ammo. That would be wonderful if you were out of ammo. Anyways, it's a dang good thing. I... Yahoo! Ow. Dear God, dear God, this guy's like actually, Yahoo! Ow! Ow! That hurt like heck. Got him. Alright, time to switch to the baseball bat. Got him. And got him again. Really got him good. And since this ended up being such a long one, I am just going to cut it off here. So, on the next episode, we are going to be saving Makoto-chan. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.